G'day, g'day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. Now, I have five kilometers of range left, but how much does five kilometers weigh? Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm not Vsauce. Today, we're gonna to be finding out how far you can go once your range hits zero. So now, it's just clicked over. I've got four kilometers left. We're about to join the motorway, and then I'm just gonna drive until it stops. Place your bets down in the comments. How far do you reckon I'll be able to go? I'm gonna guess, Ooh, I don't know, I'm gonna say 45 kilometers. The range is now at zero, so all that's left to do is set the cruise control for 90 kilometers an hour, sit behind this concrete mixer that's flicking a whole bunch of stones and water all over the front of my car, and wait. But in the meantime, I'm gonna talk about why I sold my Integra Type R for an Accord. Most people tend to try and go up in the leagues, and in my mind, I kind of did. I went from a Jazz to a base model Integra to a high-spec Accord to an Integra Type R, and now I've kind of gone backwards. So why have I done that? I think the main reason was comfort. I mean, I was driving it probably 90% to and from work and to and from wherever I needed to go, and 10%, you know, having fun on night drives or track days or that kind of thing. And I went, why am I suffering in a car with bolt up uncomfortable seats that squash your knees in like this and a bone shaking ride when I could drive something more comfortable that wouldn't be quite as well suited to the fun driving but at the very least if it's still at a manual hey it would be good enough right but yeah eventually when I found this one I think it struck the perfect balance of comfort and sporty looks and sporty driving but either way this Accord I'm very happy with it and uh, as we're seeing now, if we get back onto the actual topic of this video, we've now done just over 11 kilometers since the range hit zero. But if we have a little scroll through here, we're doing, wow, holy moly, you're not gonna believe this, mate. We're doing 4.6 liters per 100K. Jeepers, listen to that legacy. I suppose if I started to actually think about this properly and actually did some proper maths, then I could calculate that let's assume that there was 5 litres left in the tank. We're doing basically 5 litres per 100k. Then in theory, we could do 100 kilometres. <laughs> and do I feel like driving for 100 kilometres for no reason whatsoever? Not really. And here we go, that's 35 kilometres we've now gone and it's still going. So many people are joining the on-ramp at well less than 100 kilometres an hour. And who is it that's leading the charge? Nissan Tita, what a surprise. Oh man, it's the very same Nissan Tita driver who's just realized that they're in the wrong lane. I'm looking down and we're at 47 kilometers here, which is obviously more than my original estimate. Oh, come on mate, please stay green. Come on, yes, we'll make it. There's no way we'll stop from 100 from there. Oh, perfect timing too, the lights just went orange. Yes it is, what a nice. Still going, still going, still going. 64 kilometers later. I think the real question now is can we make it to 100? Can we do 100 kilometers on zero Ks of range? If we could, that would be flipping awesome. Man, I can't believe this car is still going 82 kilometers later. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, hang on. Yep, no, that's it. I'm foot to the floor. It stopped. That's it. Oh, I can't rev match <laughs> because the throttle doesn't work. Right, I think we need to pull in here. Oh, shoot. Ah, I've lost my engine braking and my... Oh, man, this car doesn't want to stop. Oh, yeah, the engine's still running, though. Barely. Nah. And it stopped. <laughs> That's it. The final number, 95.4 kilometers until it runs out of fuel. Crazy. Crazy, I say. 